Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to evaluate the limit and justify each step by indicating the appropriate properties of limits. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of the square root of 9x cubed plus 8x minus 4 over 3 minus 5x plus x cubed. The easy way, the quick way to solve this is to say, okay, what we have here is x cubed plus 8x minus 4. The only thing that really matters here in the numerator is this x cubed term because the behavior of this when x is going after infinity is the only thing that matters, right? If we have the limit as x goes to infinity of 3x squared minus 7, something like that. As x goes to infinity, we can say that this term is going to infinity, right? If we were to quote unquote plug in infinity, we'd have 3 times infinity squared, right? That's just infinity. The lower degree terms don't really matter. Right? Infinity minus 7 is still infinity. It doesn't actually change anything. So what we can basically say that this is equal to is the limit as x approaches infinity of the square root of 9x cubed is the only thing that matters in the numerator, and x cubed is the only thing that matters in the denominator, again, because these are the largest degrees of x. Now we can have x cubed cancel in the numerator and the denominator, and this is the limit as x approaches infinity of the square root of 9, which is just the square root of 9 because it's just a constant, which is equal to 3. So this is the quick and easy way. We also can do it the longer way, doing it step by step, using the properties of limits that we know so well. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of all of this stuff inside the square root. So we can say that this is equal to the square root of the limit of everything inside. And we have 9x cubed plus 8x minus 4 over 3 minus 5x plus x cubed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say this is the square root of the limit of the numerator divided by the limit of the denominator. Let me just write that in. 9x cubed plus 8x minus 4 and 3 minus 5x plus x cubed. Next, what we can do is we can say, okay, what we want to do here is we want to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 1 over the largest degree of x. So we're going to multiply both of them by 1 over x cubed. We're able to do this because if you're multiplying the numerator and the denominator of a fraction by the same thing, it stays the same, right? 1 over 2, if we're multiplying the top and the bottom by 3, we get 3 over 6 which is an equivalent fraction to 1 over 2. We're doing the same thing here. This leaves us with the limit as x approaches infinity, right? This is all under the square root, of course, of 9x cubed over x cubed, 8x over x cubed, minus 4 over x cubed, divided by the limit as x approaches infinity of 3 over x cubed, minus 5x over x cubed, plus x cubed over x cubed. And the next step is to say, okay, we have the limit of this like com combination of sums and differences. What we can do is we can take the limit of each of those individual parts. First, we're gonna do a little bit of simplification. x cubed and x cubed cancel, x cubed and x cubed cancel, and just put the one out there, because the nine is already there x and x cubed cancel to leave just x squared on the bottom, same thing up here, and now we can proceed. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of 9 plus the limit of as x approaches infinity of 8 over x squared. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the 8 out, which we know we can do, of 1 over x squared, right? We could multiply back in to get back to 8 over x squared. Minus, and then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to pull out a 4. Minus 4 times the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over x cubed. Divided by, here, the limit um, as x approaches infinity of 3. Pulling that out, 3 times the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x cubed. Minus 5 times the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x squared. Plus 1. Why are we writing it like this? Why do we multiply by 1 over x cubed in the first place? Well, because we know that the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x to the r is equal to 0 if r is greater than or equal to 1. So what does that mean? Well, the limit as x approaches infinity of 9 is just 9 
plus eight times the limit as x approaches infinity of one over x squared, that falls into this camp, that's just equal to zero. Minus four times one over x cubed, same thing, four times zero. Divided by three times zero, minus five times zero, plus one. Right, these are all in terms of one over x to the something, where that something is greater than or equal to one, and therefore they're equal to zero. And what this basically turns into is we have nine plus zero plus zero over zero plus zero plus one. This is just equal to the square root of nine over one, which is the square root over nine, which is three. And basically this is the longer version of what we did up here, where we prove why we can just cross out these terms that are not the greatest degree and just say, okay, this is just the same as the limit as x approaches infinity of nine x cubed over x cubed because they basically doing the actual properties of limits that we know turn into zeros by the end of it. Whether you do it the short way or the long way, you get that the limit is equal to three.